Okay, so I'm often asked by people, do you know anybody in? So do you know anybody in this industry, that industry, or whatever? Okay, at the moment, somebody wants to know if I know anybody who is a buying manager at John Lewis. Well, obviously the problem is, I don't know who I know. How do we remember who we know? I'm not going to go through my cards. I've got to then put out a card. I've got to then go look for it. I've then got to go to then work out what their email address is, draft a reply, do an introduction to the person concerned, make sure that the person concerned I'm introducing in the correct way, preferably with enough information on the email, uh, including a PDF, a pitch deck, whatever. And then when uh, uh, the other person who I'm introducing asks for more information I've got to go back and forth act as an intermediary my god who's got the time and I've actually got staff uh, and let alone if you're doing this on your own so I've created this little video to teach people in the 21st century how on earth to use networks and tools such as LinkedIn rather than calling randomly people up and saying hey do you know anybody in so and so so let's say we wanted to meet a buying manager at uh, I don't know Morrison's okay and somebody asked me, do you know anybody, Arpesh? Well, this is going to be my reply. First thing, go to LinkedIn, tap in Morrison's, okay, into there. Then we want to look at Morrison's, the company, okay. And what I want to do, or read, don't get wrong, sorry, Morrison's, and then I want to look at Morrison's people, Morrison's. Uh, ba, 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 in people. There it is. Morrison's in people. All right. And actually, most of this, the great thing is you get it wrong. You can still go backwards and work it out. Now, first and second level contacts, let's say, because I'm pretty sure I won't have any first level contacts necessarily at Morrison's. Location. Well, the person who wants this introduction, uh, they want to meet these people in the UK. They might even want to meet them in London. Uh, but let's just say the United Kingdom for now. That's now given me a whole list of people, all right? Now, I happen to have already gone through this, and hey, look, buying manager at Morrison's, I've sent an invite to that person. Let's say for a second that, okay, I've got all this list. What do I do now? Okay, some of these won't even be re relevant, but others definitely will. And you might also think, look, um, maybe if I speak to the marketing specialist, because I'm not likely to get a reply back very soon, they might be able to introduce me to somebody. You never know. A bit hit and miss, but it might work. So what do we do? Well, connect is one thing. We might want to connect to these. And by the way, if you can't see the connect button, it probably means you don't have a high enough um, subscription to LinkedIn. So try not to use the first one. Look at buying a, 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 a an upgrade on your LinkedIn. That's pretty self-evident how to do it. It doesn't cost much. But let's just say, let's take Chad Rahl, buying manager at Morrison. Sounds somebody who could be pretty useful to us. So we then go and click on old Chad here. Now, as I said, my connection with him is pending. That's going to be a bit of a problem. Equally, I, I know I've got a one mutual connection, but I'm hardly about to go to uh, Vic Setti, who I can't remember who the hell Vic Setti is anyway. So I'm not going to go there and ask him for a, an introduction and so on and so forth. So I've got two options here. One is I could look under contact info and I can see, oh, Chad hasn't left his email address. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Pretty useless there, Chad. Never mind. That was one route in. Whilst I'm still waiting for an introduction to him, I've got message. I could always message him. Bingo. Okay, now I'm going to go with a subject line, which is going to be my biggest. Okay, so for instance, UK government intro. That usually is going to get somebody's attention. As you can see, I've got the premium version of LinkedIn if you don't buy it. All right, then I'm going to write the message. Dear Chad, and then bingo, here we go, right? Now, there's a couple of bits here. Um, you know how to draft a message. If you don't know how to draft a message, God help you. You can also put an attachment in. That can be pretty useful. What I'd also recommend you do, if you're not used to looking at your messages on LinkedIn, is also give Chad your email address, put your signature in as well. All of these things will help get things done. All right, now you can see here, I've got one of 15 in-mail credits. Why have I got in-mail credits? Because I've got LinkedIn Premium. If you don't have LinkedIn Premium, you're going to be about 20 years behind everybody else because what you're going to be doing is calling up people on emails and saying, hey, Arpesh, do you know anybody at LinkedIn? Do you know anybody at John Lewis? Do you know anybody at Morrison's? And you know what? You're dead. Your business isn't going to grow. You're rubbish at business development. You're not going to get ahead in the world. You're going to be inefficient. You're going to be unproductive. Got it? That's why I put this video together to try and teach people how to be a bit more productive. 
how to build their networks, how to get out there and get shit done. All right. This is a, a very good way of doing it. Blah, blah, blah. And then you do this. You send it off to dear Chad. I'm obviously not going to send this one to Chad. OK, uh, because I've got no reason to contact him at the moment. Uh, very often, if you are also a first level contact, so that wasn't on pending, but I'm already linked to somebody, you can CC people. So if you have been asked to introduce someone, do it. Equally, if you can find a contact, add that into the message as well. Oh, by the way, we've got a mutual connection, Vic Sethi. Now, Chad might know who the hell Vic Sethi is. I, like I said, can't remember. But that will always help. If you find that you've got other connections, such as, hey, Chad, I also noticed you went to Leeds. Try and add those into your message. Make it customized, not just uh, uh, just generic. OK, that's how you do it. Bit time consuming. Guess who should do the most time consuming jobs? You to whom it matters the most should do them. Right. Don't rely on other people asking them so on and so forth. All right. That's how you do it. That's how you get stuff done. Build networks and get to meet people. Guess what? You'll send 100 of these. You'll probably get one or two meetings. That's it. You'll get one or two. Another thing which is often useful, which might not have come up first time around, is when you look at this, there's others. These are third level contacts, but they could be useful. Look at Amy Austin, marketing director, a bit more senior. All right. I'd still want to try and connect people who I'm not directly linked to and who you might think, well, wait a minute, that's replicating it. Shall I just not wait for a reply from Chad? No. Don't wait for a reply from Chad. Be hungry. Get the hell out there. Amy hasn't left an email address either. Never mind. I can still message Amy. There we go. OK, always put a subject line like I already showed you. Go with your best and strongest subject line. Don't go for something like intro or something bland like that. Or, hey, meeting request. Guess what? That kind of stuff is going to get binned. If, if when you go under contact info, it does happen to give their email address, then do an email to them as well, replicating the one on LinkedIn. Nothing wrong with that. All right. Now, that's basically the quick, fast guide to building your networks, getting stuff done, developing your business, getting results, OK, uh, getting sales, creating events, whatever the heck it is. This is incredibly important. You know how to do this. Um, so good luck to you. And I hope you get to meet the marketing director or the buying manager at John Lewis wherever you are in the world, and you get a lot of success out of it. Good luck.